Wow. Mic check, mic check. You gotta mute it up, Siobhan. Wow, you're watching Chelsea and whoever this cool guy is live. Everybody's asking us about the eclipse. So yeah. I just want people to know we're making a tutorial about photographing the eclipse. I'm just, I'm trying out lots of different things to make sure I can get a process that will work with everybody's cameras. You burned a with hole their, in one thing. I did. I melted a, a filter <laughs> with my big 500 millimeter. Look, I'm finding a way for people to use smartphones. To do it, I got a little telephoto that worked pretty well. Smartphones, I've been shooting since ASA, and I'm uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm bringing the sass early tonight, and I can sass live thanks to Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have beautiful award winning designer templates. They look great. They have award winning 24 7 customer support. And they're flexible with any kind of website. If you can drag and drop, you can make a website with Squarespace. So start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter the offer code portfolio to get 10% off. You can also just do the free trial and send it to us and we'll review it. If you like it, buy it. Use the coupon code. Then Squarespace will know we're really cool. I got an email from Squarespace today. They said uh, you can now choose from, I think, 16 new templates. I need to check those out. So if you're an existing Squarespace subscriber, you know, you're if you made any website, it'll look dated in a couple of years because design changes and times change. But Squarespace will keep giving you these like updated templates. But so I'm Squarespace definitely gonna switch. Too. And they have this like 3D scrolling thing where when you scroll down through the page, the text moves at like a different pace. Like it's in the it's it's in the future. Super captivating, works great on mobile devices and stuff. They also expanded their analytics. So you can see, like, you can look better at the traffic that uh, I like has been visiting I'm your site. I'm creepy like that. That's why I like analytics. I just I'm love not... that they give you new updates. If you've used a different type of website, like maybe a WordPress site, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll get an update, and then you'll be like, oh, that sounds cool. I'll install it. Oh, it just broke all my other stuff. Oh, that my life is That happens all the time with WordPress plugins. <laughs> Whew. It's, everything's integrated. It works great. Thank you for sponsoring a Squarespace. If you, if you have a Squarespace site, visit uh, sdp.io slash link. Send it to Give us. us the link and we'll review it midway through the show. Did you say squarespace.com slash Tony coupon code portfolio? I said those things. Okay. Thanks, Squarespace. Uh, you want to talk to us, don't you? Oh, yeah. You want to tell us your thoughts, your feelings. You want to ask questions. You want to let us know that you relate to us. Go to Instagram or Twitter and use hashtag TC live. You can comment. You can joke. You, you can send us funny pictures and we'll look there. <laughs> do you uh, look there yeah yeah i look there too <laughs> it's more for during the live show and i'm i'm like busy during the live show well justin looks there during the show but i go yeah, after justin the show and i'm Twitter. like they said it they did it okay this week we're going to be looking at your abstract and geometric photos i made this theme in honor of you tony because you were like i'm really into geometric stuff i think this is a good one it teaches people about just the basics of composition, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things where I hope people wouldn't be able to pull an existing picture, where I wanted you to go out and take a new picture. But you can mm -hmm. do this around your house. You can look for the intersections of different lines, um, different colors and angles, and I think yeah. we'll probably see some great examples of this today. So if you ha didn't last week go out and get this picture for this show, uh, then watch it and without even leaving your house, go out and take some awesome abstract and geometric photos. The picture here in the background is actually of a ceiling and two walls. Oh. That looks really weird, huh? Nicely done. It looks weird because I'm cool, guys. Hey, you didn't introduce, introduce oh. Siobhan. If, if you have a question for us during the live show, just write a comment. And our producer, Siobhan, out in Philly. Hey, Siobhan. She can read it to us. Oh, I'm, I made a mistake. I didn't put in the slide for next week. Oh. What's next week's theme? contrast oh, okay so that's contrast in colors contrast in mood an example of that would be like a very beautiful woman in an abandoned building or a very happy person surrounded by all gray jewelry things or something like that uh, and also just contrast in light so a very high contrast picture with lighting kind of broad kind of special you can shoot for this one it's a good exercise 
you have news here? No. No, I think we covered everything new. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll start importing pictures. I love when you do that. I appreciate it. We're drinking margaritas tonight, but I didn't have any limes, so... We have a lemon. I had to use a lemon for garnish. It's pretty embarrassing as a host. Yeah, I'm... It's not a highlight for me. In your life. I'm ashamed. Okay. Well... Abstract and I'm geometric. I'm seeing some cool things already. Uh, this is certainly geometric. Yes, but I think there's so much much in the background that it's it's really hard to see the subject it's just there's a lot of distractions here yeah yeah um but i think there might be some solutions to this if you could revisit the same spot maybe at night maybe the background would be darker maybe the interior lights would be so bright that you'd be able to blow out the the background i still like it and i like the arrow pointing down I'm like Phew. yeah i picture. like it too you pretty much nailed the symmetry on it mm -hmm. I, I think that's a cool shot. I don't, it's definitely not abstract, but uh, nonetheless, I think it's striking and uh, you get bonus points for taking it with a smartphone. So I'll give you a pick on that one. Um, good geometry, certainly. I like the leading lines. I like all of the, the arches. Yeah, I think that's a great picture of this location. I, I like the repetition of it. It's a Pretty amazing library. It makes me feel like Harry Potter. <laughs> Good one. Um, I see the shape here. I like that, but I find the sign in the middle very distracting. That's just the first thing that I looked at. Yeah, there might be different compositions that might abstract that a little bit more. Uh, it, it is an interesting shape, and I think we'll probably see a lot of circular stairwells today. It's a common theme. You might try going up to a higher level and pointing straight down, maybe leaning over the edge, or zooming in on a smaller, tighter spot of it to just find the most interesting yeah. part of the shape. But eliminating distractions is one of the biggest themes in photography. It's like, it might be the number one thing that we need to teach right now is find your subject and get rid of everything else in the frame. Yeah. Cropping, background blur, composition, there's all these different ways. This uh, is very cool. This is I like Tron. I was gonna say I have this like mm -hmm. '80s video game style thing going on. I, I'm gonna give that one a pick. I just I like the colors of it. I think it's what is it? The side of a building? Is this? I don't know. I think I I love it. I think this is a perfect example of what we're talking about. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is really nice I like too. This one a lot too. Yeah. Oh, this is old Adobe headquarters. <laughs> they sure do know their shapes there. Whoa. Yes, Alan. This is what I'm talking about. I'll give you a pick. Yeah, that's Beautiful. very cool. I love the contrast. This would work for next week, too. I love the shapes in this. Uh, I love that you have a nice white point and the background is black. Good. I'm going to give you a pick. There and a, a great example of using a fisheye lens to exaggerate perspective. He's at 15 millimeters, so it's super, super wide angle. This just juts out at a triangle, but he's made it so much more interesting by using the distortion of that lens. Those lenses are hard to shoot with, but you did a great job. Did it. It. Um, this is an interesting shot, no doubt. It makes me wonder, like, what is this? Is it a silo or a missile silo or something? But uh, I don't know that it conforms to the theme, Yeah. but it's a cool location. It's pushing it, but we like it. This is a bath bomb. I like all the shapes. There's some geometry there. I think that the subject is more the bath bomb itself. It's more like a product photo than uh, than the geometry or the shapes and the form. Yeah, I think it's a good it's picture, nice. though. I like the muted colors. Um, and I like the shot, too, especially the, the sunrise. I feel like I want to uh, change the color balance a little bit. Like, let's... Oh, you got oh, your man. back going? Oh, it's not hooked up somehow. Um, just so, because right now it's almost monochromatic, like the building itself looks very orange, and I think I want the... You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. Let's try that. Yeah, just to separate it a little. I don't know if that's better. 
Um, this is, I see that you're going for abstract. It's kind of abstract. Just fixing the color a little bit. I like where I like where you're headed with it. I'd like to see more in the series. Arturo. Hmm. Arturo. It's his name. Good shape. I like this. Yeah, I, I. It's definitely very geometric. He. Interesting angle. Yeah, it was a thoughtful composition. I like the. Uh, lines, the support beams coming in and how he used those. And that's one of the things I wanted people to think about is your movement within a frame and the angle of view, the zoom level that you use will drastically change the appearance of lines and shapes. So you can just move to the side a little bit and have them coming towards you or have them going off to the side of the frame. It's the kind of thing you should think about. Oh, this is DC. We were here, remember guys, Siobhan, Justin? Yeah. We looked down there. Just like her. We were you, lady. But I like this little triangle of light. It frames your subject nicely. I'm going to give you a, a pick. What was that? I anyway, just heard a doodle doodle. -doo. Um, I think there's a shot in here, but this is another situation where the distractions. Really maybe distracted. maybe if I, they blurred the background a bit and just made it all about these two. Yeah, I feel like it's all those two. And. I don't know how to eliminate distractions. Maybe it's impossible. It may be, but we're here to do the impossible, Tony. Um, this is just a little, I don't know if the, the, I don't know what's happening with the image quality, but it's going to up the contrast. Let's bring up the whites a little. Yeah. And I, I feel like we might be stronger if the trees weren't in there, like at least as far as it being on the theme of abstract. Yeah, that's more abstract. This I love. I saw this in our readers group. If you buy your book, you get access to a Facebook group and people share pictures there. And sometimes they're rebels. And this is great. I like this a lot. I wonder if the first person was inspired by this picture because I think it got a lot of likes in the group. Yeah, it's a very cool shot. I love it. I love it. I'm going to give a pick. I've got a pick already, but I give you a pick. Oh. Yeah, this feels like DNA or something. No, you yeah, feel like it feels very organic. Cool. Golgotha. King's Cross Station. That's where we were, Tony. I like this a lot. And I love that you included the sun on the left hand side. It just, you have such perfect symmetry and then you just kind of unbalance it a little bit. I do think it's a good candidate for, for black and white. I like it in both though, because the colors are so muted. So yeah, hard. but I, I do like it's good. Um, gumball machines. In, in spot color. No. Yeah. You stop it, sir. Uh, I do think there's a shot in here. I think if you're going to be on theme, it would need to be maybe a little bit closer up. It's like, this is really stealing the show, these labels. So you gotta, yeah. you gotta try to work around the distractions. But I like where you were going with it. Uh, oh, I like this a lot. I just wish your everything were in focus because having that those beams in the foreground out of focus is the first thing I thought of, like if a picture is just out of focus. So simply a higher f stop number or focusing closer to the foreground. It seems like your camera focused far away. I'd probably focus on the beams or just behind the beams and just use the highest f stop. You can. It makes me motion sick. Oh, really? The movement of the light? Yeah, when and... I look around, it's like, ah, ah, ah. But I think it's a cool shot. I, thought it was I would cool. just make change those little couple of technical details. Um, I think this, I think pointing up at skyscrapers has a lot of potential for people looking for abstract or geometric pictures. I think the distraction, yes, it was that that distracted me from Is it. Is that a camera? Probably, because everybody's watching us nowadays. Big brother. I, I like this one. There's something uncomfortable about it, but it works for me. Oh, this is what we were talking about. Let's get a white point. This is a little muddy. Ooh, this one's a tough one. Hmm. 
so this is also with a fisheye lens and in this case it it's an interesting picture of the location but we have these people at the sides well on the same level uh that to me are telling a more a complete story of what's going on but detracting from the theme of being abstract or geometric so just a tighter crop here could fix that problem i, I kind of like the people oh yeah like that's kind of what i was saying i think yeah. it, it tells a more complete story but maybe it's not on theme pentax for life chris chris what are you saying to me right now I love the shot. I'm going to what give it a pick. I like the hard red line. I am not sure what that is. It's like a fuse That's... or something. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but I like the circle. I, I don't know. I just like everything about it. I think it's really cool. Hmm. It feels futuristic. Chris Reddy. Chris, I like that you found an unusual spot to photograph. Um, I might just take it up a little bit just that we can't see the trees. It's experimental. Hmm. I guess then you're losing some of the. And I'll also add you're so close to being on center, but it's a matter of millimeters to get everything lined up. Uh, you might be able to do a little warping in Photoshop to get it straightened up. I can see you're just a hair to the right. But when you're taking the picture, really think about where precisely you're standing. Because it took me like 50 times of trying to take a symmetrical picture <laughs> before I realized just how careful I needed to be to get myself dead center lined up. You just have to be exactly looking at the lines and look, use those grid lines built into your viewfinder to make sure you really, really nail it. I think I like it better in black and white. It takes away the distraction of the trees. But I do like the red, but... Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. This is... I'm going to give this one a pick. It's exactly what I had in mind. I love this sort of just it interplay. It's waffle. almost all black and white. Just like a waffle. I just wanted to cheat and look in it. Um, Peek in there. I, I might even just drop the blacks. Whoa, no. We you need really? Cool. You like the extra detail? I, I like it. Chill. Just a high contrast shot. I That's it. Off. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> We're done. We can go home. We did it. Pizza. Pizza for everyone. <laughs> uh, let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, no. These people cried. I can feel them crying. <laughs> um, I hate to make people cry, Chelsea. I know. Well, let's find where we were, and we'll just go through very quickly. Okay. Because people cry, and, and I feel bad, and they feel bad. This reminds me of peanut butter cups. I'm all about that. You could, I'm really hungry, huh? Again, eliminating Good the distractions colors. here would really improve it. So Good. zoom in tighter. Um, you're going to control reflections by where you are. So move to the side and hide those reflections. Let's just... All we do here is crop and talk about food. Look at that. Now I have no idea what's going on. And that's the point today. Confusion. Is this a grill? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I think it's it's cool. I can't. Wow. Well, you took that is some upstream abstract. Is this even? Yeah, I guess it's an actual photo. It's just so perfect. I was thinking I might see. I thought they were pulling something. OK. I'm going to give you a pick because you were just like, you know what? You want shapes? Take that. I respect can't get that. simpler than this. This is very cool. I want this to be my album cover. I'm going to give you a pick. I like the colors. Yeah, that's a cool shot. The textures, very good. I think it's metal. I'm not sure. Oh, Crocosmia. I was wondering what those were. I'm going to give you a pick because I didn't know the name of that. They definitely did a mirror image in post. Yeah, it's very cool. I love the colors. Newcastle. It's a nice skyline. I can't say it's abstract or geometric. I mean, it. It's got shapes in yeah, it, but yeah. shapes. I like that. Ah. Oh yeah, here's a, a P for pick. Yeah, I like that Good one a lot. Good colors. I, I like the, the exposure red with the a little blue. bit. Yeah, don't be afraid to brighten that up. You but, did it. Um. Mm. Oh man, this. Very dangerous. I would definitely clone that out. That's a distraction. Let's just crop it. 
that's all we ha the only tool we have available. <laughs> yeah, people think we crop too much, but that's we'd we go have. back and recompose stuff at the location if we had that option. Just when we get a time the machine, compositional tool, things will be different. Yeah, it's coming. We ordered it. <gasps> that's cool. A double exposure. Pick. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, you get a yeah. pick for that. That's a creative use of that. I like all the patterns. It's busy. Hey, Nico, you're cool. But not overwhelming. I was overwhelmed by by how cool it was. Okay. So. Um, I just wish this concrete in the lower left corner wasn't in there. Just because it takes me out of it a little bit. I don't like concrete. Just in general. Erlen. Oh, man. Do you, think, he, do you think this is like a snail or something? Oh. He loves nature. Oh, it's a flower. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'll give that one a quick. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Um, but it's definitely time to clean your sensor. What? What? Oh, man. I don't like when people tell me that when I show a picture. <laughs> I just do it as a courtesy. I always find out the hard way because I'll get into my pictures and see all the what dust if this spots. This is ear canal. <laughs> No more of that. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I don't know that it's totally on theme, but I think it's a really cool shot. I think it works. I'm going to give it a pick. Oh, oh that's cool. Frank. Wow. I like that a lot. Spooky. Good colors. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Yeah, the colors are nice. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Uh, the sun. Yeah, I feel like I wanted to change the exposure. Oh, I was just peeking around, but okay. I like that. Yeah. This, the shapes are there, but there are many distractions. So let's put it in black and white because it's more about the shapes than the color, right? I'm going to bring up the highlights. <clears throat> but the reflections input. are so busy that it it's hard distracts me yeah my eye doesn't rest anywhere your eyes never rest oh, oh. Mm. that's a beautiful scene i i really like there's nobody in the picture and uh it is basically perfectly symmetrical i i think that's a great shot color or black and white i think i like the colors in it i don't i mean i like it black so and it white can too. go both ways Water bubbles. Yeah, I think this is an interesting theme. I might even what just. What is this? It's, I think it's the bottom of a glass, something like that. Oh. I don't know. I feel like I'm not even a part of this world anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this That's one a pick. Cool. I think this is a really cool building, and I even like the little light on there. It makes me feel vulnerable. Let's take, let's go to something. We've okay. been doing this a while. You want to? You're yeah. right. We haven't. You want to talk to Siobhan? Siobhan. I'll see always, if anybody sent their portfolio in. She always says something in. good. No pressure. Hey no pressure or anything, Siobhan. Ah. <laughs> Do people have interesting was... questions today? I got a couple. Okay. What is more satisfying to you? Getting an awesome wildlife shot or making a YouTube video that ends up getting 10 times more views than your average video gets? Um, for me, the wildlife shot. <laughs> I was thinking the wildlife shot too. I mean, I like a video to go popular, but because like a what a wildlife shot that's a pure moment. You've been waiting for that for probably years if you get a really good shot, and then no one can bring you down. You're just like, this is my special thing to keep. A YouTube video, it can be really popular, and you can be happy about it, but then all the comments are like, you're ugly, and I always hate this couple. And <laughs> Like, there's just too much going on. Yeah. I like the pureness. Popular YouTube video is a blessing and a curse. Yeah. What else, Shabam? It's always like a video that's like me buying shoes or something. Yeah, and it's always dumb. It's never the video I like. I'll work very hard on a video and just get pff, such a mild reaction. Yeah, and speaking of, did y'all watch the new Wanderlust? We worked no, so you hard. No, you didn't. <laughs> nobody We worked so it. hard on it, and nobody cares. And then we put out some video where we're like, you know what? F the world today. And we poop out some video, and everybody goes crazy. I don't get that at all. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Siobhan? Chelsea, specifically, 
What is your favorite type of photography? Travel. Because I just love seeing new things and then, and then documenting it and getting to bring it back to everybody. It's like the ultimate exploring experience. Yeah. What else, Siobhan? What are your favorite shapes, excluding the rhombus? I was going to say rhombus. Oh my gosh, we yeah, got a... that's the obvious answer. We got a mind reader. specifically stopped you from saying it. Yeah, a mind reader. I like hexagons. The circle is a nice, clean shape. What else, Tony? Uh, what a it's it's got to be the hexagon. And my, uh, my uh, turn-based strategy peeps will know what I'm talking about. I don't like octagons because they're always trying to tell me what to do. It's a stop sign joke. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Siobhan? I like that question. I yeah. appreciated that one, Chelsea. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Nikon's announcement that they are working on mirrorless? Cool. Because everyone <laughs> said mirrorless would be a fad, or it wasn't a real camera, or pros would never go there. It's happening. The future's happening. Just ride that train. Yeah, I'm excited about it. But if they try to introduce a different camera mount, I think that's a mistake. Ooh. I use your existing lenses. That's your strength. I think it's too late to give them tips. It sounds like they've got it. Just build the lens adapter in if that's what you have to do. All right. I'm excited. I, I like. Yeah, I'm pumped about it. Okay. What else, Shabal? Do you have a question? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No, I don't. Uh, it's about life in general? Is that your cool bike behind you? No. That's Levi's. Oh. Folds up. I watch his YouTube channel. I'm oh. a big fan of Levi's YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. I like them all. I'm wondering if we should just totally blow it up and get everybody yeah. to subscribe. Oh through. my god. Yeah, he let's do that. Lose his mind. So Siobhan's stepson has a YouTube channel. He's young and he's just starting. He's 10. He's 10. And his videos are long. His name's Levi Midget. <laughs> hey. But that's not the name that he... No, it's... He uses. No, I'm looking through my subscriptions. Find find that. It's like... Too. There he is. It's Lerman Burr. Oh, here he is. Yeah. It just show support. L look for Lerman Burr on youtube he subscribers help you can be subscriber number 10. oh no he had 10 and he must have lost one no. he was at 11 for a while well but you guys can help out okay check out lerman burr is it positive keep it positive he's young yeah i want to go i want to do a video with him siobhan oh my god please do he would love that okay he's so cool he showed you that you can't fold a piece of paper nine times. I'm <laughs> glad <laughs> um, someone's watching them. It's us. You okay. want to take a quick look at a portfolio? Yeah. Um, He's so stinking cute. Okay. Casper has sent their portfolio in a couple of times. They're clearly a loyal follower of the live show. Uh, so why don't we take... A look at Casper's He's eyelashes. Oh. Sorry, I just wanted to visit his about page so we could get an idea of what Casper's doing here. Casper. Uh, that's... I get the idea. That's words that I don't know. No, I, I pretty much know it. Let's see what his prices are like. Mm -hmm. um, I... Uh, I see, does, I see numbers. Does anybody... Does anybody oh, we can um, we can do the I yeah. Think, I think it's there. You go. Sweden. I think Erky could help us with that. We got it. I got Google. I know how to use the technologies. I'm kind of a smart lady. Okay. okay. This is making more sense to me. I would say change <laughs> the arrangement of this a little bit because it's uh like who's that poet who did where the sidewalk ends? I'm so bad with names. Shel Silverstein. Oh, yeah, Justin. It's laid out in this kind of creative way but we might want to be a little more straightforward on the justin the is, knows page. a lot about poetry justin well, knows everything i was not even phased when he he's popped in with the answer I, he, he's got some good songs too so oh no okay. what are songs kind of, like? like edm oh, oh shell silverstein no they're like old 
Oh, my camera. Whatever. They're like old hippie songs, but they're very funny. They're like the same same format as Where the Sidewalk Ends. Kinda. There's like a twist. Oh, totally. okay. In a moral. I like that about him. Back okay. to Casper. Let's, Let's check out see. His I want to see this animal thing because those are some good lashes. <laughs> I like the eye contact. Yeah. Nice and then no eye, eye contact. He re he's keeping it diverse. It's like, whoa, look at those eyes. And then, no, you cannot. You know, it is a cat. They rarely open their eyes. And then, oh, there you go again. Look at that cutie. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. Oh, the cutest. I would leave with this picture because the red panda is the cutest animal. You think it's the, the cutest? <gasps> what happened? This oh, is too sad. A, no, he's just old. That's all. No, he has a, he has a cut. Yeah, they get a little. It's like all of us. Okay. Little prairie dog. <gasps> oh, he's oh. nervous. He bites his nails. I hope I get a banana. Oh, this is great. Lead with this one. This is your best shot so far, right? <laughs> he's biased. Oh, look at that little bunny, and look, he's got a little... What is that, a little bug or something up there? Yeah. <gasps> okay. I say you lead with this one. I like that shot a lot. And I, I would get rid of this guy because he made me sad. It's a lot of scrolling. <laughs> so obnoxious. Okay, let's look at another category. The macro. That drew me in, you get a bright color there. All right, that's it. Oh, yeah, you don't want to have a category with one picture. I would go ahead and combine that. Maybe into put that else. into um, wildlife or, or just make it nature or something until you get more. You have a birds category. Oh, this one's really nice. Oh, that one too. Okay. So some of these pictures are stronger than others. Um, like this first picture didn't really draw me in because he's facing away from you just a little bit. So, um, you know, keep with the pictures and get that GBH who's facing you or facing in perfect, uh, what do you call it? Perpendicular profile. profile. Um, and this guy seems a little bit out of focus, so I might just pull that picture. That one's in focus. But this picture really caught my eye. This one could be cropped down a little bit. This one caught my eye. This one caught my eye. Those are good pictures to lead with. This one, there's no catch light. Otherwise, it's good. That's because he only has holes in his head. Um, so I would pare it down a little bit. Some of these pictures could use a little cropping. This picture just needs to be brightened. The bright background cause your camera to underexpose it. And portraits. Let's take a look. Okay, so you have some categories that are a little light. Um, you don't have much in portraits and macro, so, but that's good. That's one of the really great things about making a portfolio is that it tells you what you need more of, what pictures you take a lot of. You clearly want a portraits category, but you don't have many, so now you have a project. Go out and take more pictures and add them to your site. And as you take more, take pictures away before you add a new one. If a picture isn't good enough to take away something to add it, don't just keep adding pictures. It just gets to be too much. You know what a portfolio can do is it can give you an objective. If you feel like you don't have a purpose behind your the your photographs, the pictures that you're taking, a portfolio will do that. If you go out and you have the opportunity to take landscape pictures, your goal is now to take a picture good enough for your portfolio. Yes. And if you have a portfolio of landscape pictures, then your goal is to get rid of your worst picture by taking a new best picture and getting rid of your worst picture. And, and that's how it will grow over time. For me, my experience has been, oh, I take a lot of pictures of this because I like to do that. And then you go to make your portfolio and you say, you know what? I really only have a few good shots of that and that's something I like to do. So I have to take more. That was a great landscape photo that we saw last. And my last bit of critique would be to go with a white background because it's more modern and the black just looks it's just dated for some reason people don't really do black anymore fortunately squarespace makes it easy to be easy. update your portfolio you can even make yeah. a cool logo he might even use that to make the logo here's what casper had to say about squarespace squarespace is the simplest way to make a beautiful site or online store just drag, they and, drag drop. and drop that's what i do they Thank call me chelsea drag and drop northrop <laughs> Thanks for sending your portfolio in, okay. Casper. If you want your own awesome portfolio, visit squarespace.com slash Tony. Get a 14-day free trial. No credit card required. You can set it up. You can try out all those new templates. 3D scrolling, you'll be like, you'll look like a design master. Be like, whoa, this guy's next level. You can send it to us. 
We can tell you a bunch of things you don't want to hear and maybe some things you do want to hear. If you, you decide you want to pay, give me your credit card number. Use the coupon code portfolio and that will give you 10% 10 off, off your whole purchase. Let's, you want to look at some chit chat? Let's chit chat. Chit chat is like the uh, worst of <gasps> y what you guys have done in the last week. It's like we get to judge you for once. Yeah. So Odu said, sounds funny how you pronounce the German word Wanderlust. This word has a different meaning in Germany. English speakers have no idea what wandering means. Wandern. Wanderlust is the urge to travel around. Nothing more. It has nothing to do with the specific meaning in Germany as a kind of hiking through the nature. Um, we always get this comment from Germans whenever we publish a new Wanderlust episode. Well, this is I regret it. Travel show. I wish I'd never named the show Wanderlust. But I wish I named it just nothing. It is definitely a, a word that English has borrowed from German. And that's okay. We Languages borrow things from others. Like they probably say internet. Oh. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So it means something different in English. We're not trying to say the German word. We don't even know where Germany is on a map. We don't even have history classes here. Get used to it. Because <laughs> I knew they were going to go there, so I went lower, and then I got proud with it. <laughs> yeah, That's is Germany even in the history books? I don't remember anything about Germany. <laughs> we never Someday read about it. Someday you guys will do something of note. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony, um, stop talking. I'm uncomfortable. Okay, what? No alcohol. No, alcohol is the drink of idiots. You never mix photography and alcohol. Unless you want to be unprofessional. <laughs> I've never tried to be professional. And Chelsea I, has never had a sober photo shoot. Little known fact about her. I've never been sober. And it's working out great for me. This is only funny because people always accuse me of being like a total drunkard. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> okay. One star. Don't buy this unless it's going to keep me hanging. It's not a camera. You have to buy the lens separately. How stupid is that? <laughs> How stupid is that? Can you imagine somebody selling a camera without a lens? That's stupid. <laughs> Where is this from? It was just in a camera review and I just happened to stumble across it. I was looking because <laughs> we were getting some more black magic cameras and I just happened to spot it. But I'm just saying it's ridiculous. Sometimes you get reviews in here like they didn't show it with it's okay. Like the camera was not intended for this guy. He didn't know that cameras could be separate from the lens or that they were interchangeable. I just Hey, it's a dumb review. Getting reviews on Amazon is real rough. Remember when we first put out our book and people would be like, "Kindle is dumb. One star." And we'd be like, "I didn't make the Kindle. That's not what you're buying. Help." Yeah, they'd buy it and then their camera wouldn't work. And they'd just be like, my camera doesn't even work. One star. Like, that's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. Dandy Panty. Oh, darn. That name is something else. <laughs> the Dog Whisperer is always dropping good advice. People always say you look, I look like, like Caesar Milan. Milan. Because you're like brown and you have white hair and a nice smile. That's it. It ends there. Hmm. Thanks for the smile compliment. <laughs> Generic username said, cringy woman Chelsea. And I said, Chelsea, cringy woman Northrop. And Eric Lowenbach, my friend, said, one of the best Kenny Rogers songs, if you ask me. You're so funny, Eric. I feel bad for... On one of our road trips, I just forced everybody to listen to old country music songs. That might be why he's thinking about Kenny Rogers, because I definitely have a couple of Kenny Rogers you songs. You gotta know my... when to hold them. Remember when you made us listen to that? Yeah, what's the song about? Now I can't remember it. That late. Jolene or something like that. No, Jolene's no, that's Dolly good. Parton. Jolene. What's that Jolene? crappy Jolene. song he made us listen to? He made us listen to the saddest song. Oh, the saddest Kenny Rogers song about the woman leaving him. Yes. Or uh, don't. It's like the, he doesn't want the woman to go out tonight. You picked a fine time to leave, man, dude. What's that uh, one? Yeah, that's an awesome one. It's not Kenny Rogers. Um, Is it, I'm gonna sing you a sad song, Susie. No, it's about... It's like one word. Or don't go like. traipsing around tonight, <laughs> uh, Margaret, or whatever her name is. I can't remember. Uh, Siobhan, somebody in the comments must be jumping on this, right? What's that Kenny oh, yeah. Rogers song where his woman goes out and just, like, hooks up and stuff every night, but he's, like, uh, crippled from the war? Said, 
coward of the county? No. Oh, that sounds cool. Ruby. Keep- Ruby. It's Ruby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Dang, your Just music hurts my feelings. Pause this live stream. No, what? No, <laughs> it's not worth it. Look Trust up me. the we were Ruby stuck YouTube in a video. <laughs> Ruby. And even with that. The saddest no. song ever. <laughs> okay. And then podcast. Yeah, go check it out. Okay. Let me get some more. Should I re-import or do you want to go through the rest of these? I bet there's more. Oh, let's look at this one. Is that zebra? Is that zebra. That's zebra. Pretty cool. Oh, look, hotter balloon. I like these lines going through it. Pick. Oh. I would just adjust the exposure some, mm. brighten that up. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's pretty cool. Whoa. I thought they were animal tracks at first. Oh, dang! Look at this. Oh, I like this. I love those stairwells. I love and the shadows stairs. that they cast. Yeah, you get a Pixar, but no need to not have a white point. Go ahead and give yourself a white point on that. Don't you dare come on this show without a white point. Oh, but this, right? You want to get Chelsea's like, I want to get rid of that thing in the corner. Don't you okay. dare talk like me. Uh, hmm. You pick. To find time to leave me. What was that song, Lucille. Justin? Lucille. I think it's. I think Lucille was one of them. Yeah. Justin, what's worse? Children. When Tony makes us listen to country songs or when I just make us listen to King Kunta on repeat? <laughs> I've had some sad I like them both. Just, uh, <laughs> there's a music for every occasion, so. You're lying, and I like that about you. Hurt and won't heal. I could never jump naked in a building this scary a cargo thing yeah that's a cool shot though yeah I like it's the shadow cool. yeah i'm gonna give that a pick yeah nice job roberto uh okay let's let's import some pictures for people who showed up a little bit late not everybody can oh, be right on time we're gonna time. reward the late that's just oh please chelsea you're one to you should be on the side look at all these new pictures wow. we have from we're really gonna go there loyal followers <laughs> Um, let's start in the middle so as we don't reward people with names early in the alphabet. Uh, is this real? Okay. Now we just have to investigate that, right? Cause there was a famous picture that was in a Nikon campaign that I think oh, yeah. was faked. And I don't know why this is jumping around. Mm, now we do this. Oh, I see some fringing. Yeah, see, there's some fringing, but that might just be them recovering the blues. Mm. I mean, it's definitely been mm. edited. Well, it's a great picture. But yeah, it's... I don't mind something that's been edited, but um, what's, Justin, what's that YouTube channel where it's like Captain Disillusionment? Yeah, that's it, Captain Disillusion. I know yep. a YouTube channel look up besides Good. Levi's channel. I like Wow, that's great. Pick oh, that's awesome. Five. Yeah. He did it. That's cool. Oh, I like that one a lot too. You were I saying would definitely Brian Captain up. Disillusionment? Yeah, he basically looks at videos and proves to you that they're fake. He does other things too, but I felt like that when I was investigating that picture. Yeah, no, you were cool for a minute there. I felt like you had it going on. Nice ropes. Good. Oh, that's interesting. James Lemon, we know him. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that shot. I uh, kind of wish I had more depth of field. Wow. This is so cool. And <laughs> I kind of want to just to be this guy's. <laughs> I don't like face. it. Like what? Is... I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what a fly sees when he comes at you. I love it, and I'm uncomfortable with it. This is so cool. Okay, where is that? I need to go there. This is nice. I like the shapes. Some ice. I like that. Good. Ooh, this is oh, nice shapes here. That one here. really strikes me because of the contrast. Yeah, yeah that one worked. Mm, more macro, I think, but it's a good picture. 
Yeah, I like that was the right idea. I'm going kind of fast because we don't have much time. Oh my god, we're almost out of time. I know this went by very quickly. These are great pictures. Um, um this is a we zoomed in snake skin. Oh. Wait, let me just it's not spooky. Fit. Chelsea, why the hate for the spot color? Question that just came in on Twitter. Um, most of the time it's lazy. So if you have to use just one piece of color to direct people's eyes and you're not using form or shape or contrast or light, you, if you've neglected every other part of photography and then you just colored in the part you want people to look at, that's so lazy. You may as well just draw a circle around it. But if the picture is otherwise amazing, the composition is right and everything and you spot color, then I'm like, okay. Not my favorite, but it, it's fine. I don't know. Why don't you like spot color? Oh, I think spot color is great. I don't know why you're so <laughs> mean to poor spot color people. Wow. Useful technique. We should spend it sending more spot color pictures. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I don't even care about any of that because I need to party with Laura. Right? It's Laura's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Laura. Happy birthday. Oh, man. I get a pick because of that seagull head. Seagull. Everything's lined up perfectly, and then that's, that's perfect. That makes it really fascinating. You have Great to job. say Seagull, because every time we say Seagull, people go, Seagull's not a real bird. It's a goal. You got a ring neck goal. got this kind of goal. got that kind of goal. We know it. So, <laughs> we know it. Say Seagull, and then they know we know. Yeah, I don't necessarily understand how you're solving that problem with if you're, Seagull. But... If you're just wrong so much, people don't correct you anymore. It's something I learned in life. <gasps> Whoa. Is she, is she dead? No. That's not a real person. <laughs> what is happening? I'm, oh, it's a balloon. Oh, man. You get a You get a pick. pick. Wow. That's awesome. See, we just looked at some very similar pictures like this one, and I thought, okay, that's okay, but nothing caught my eye. Ooh, this this one had that. dope. I'm going to give that a pick, but this This is one just dope. had that splash of color. I might crop it a little differently, <sighs> um, but that really made it interesting. This Great work. It's weird. That is some bright color. Sure uh, is. I like it. Ooh. Oh, that's really pretty. I love the lines there. Whoa, I'm going to give you a pick. That makes me feel like driving home in the city. Wishing I was with Tony. Aw. Oh, great shot, Kyle. I like that. We're just kind of peeking through. There's so much it's other stuff in there. Abstract. I don't that's know what Thomas. that is, but I like it. Escalator, maybe? Except your watermark, we'll just dial that back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, this would need to be tighter. This would be good for, for next week's contrast theme. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a pick. That's a shape. Good job, a little. I like it. I it's, like it, too. It's, it's just your description of why you liked it. <laughs> I like That's shape. a shape. Shapes are good. Okay. Uh, yeah, here we have a hard time. Oh, this is that thing. Oh, you wouldn't understand. No. A whisk? <laughs> That's what I thought, too. <laughs> An egg beater of some kind? Don't let them in on all our secrets, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, we've been here, right? Where is this? This is Chicago, and we have not been there. Oh, oh well, speak for yourself. But you said we. What are you talking about? <laughs> you said we. <laughs> I like it. How did you know it's Chicago when I've been to this thing and you have not? <laughs> I read your mind. Okay. You have better access to it than I do, apparently. <laughs> Marsha Loopy. It's a good name, by the way. Um, I would just like to see a little bit of separation because the building on the right is merging into the these mm. here. Mm -hmm. So if you were to shift a little more, you might be able to separate them to kind of mush together. Wow. Yeah, this is a, a I great like eye. I, I think you did a good job of kind of capturing, you know, the architect gets 85% of the credit, but you found a good angle on it. Do you, and I've wondered that before. Do you good. think when the architects watch shows like this, like good job? <clears throat> took my whole life to build that yeah well i definitely thought of that as some of the pictures where it's it's clearly a photograph of what the architect intended for it to be um but that's okay you know you still managed to capture a good moment of it. it you definitely get bonus points if 
it's a different spin on it. I like this angle. It's tilted. It's like a noodle. This is the one I pick. We only have a few more minutes, so let's go. Okay. These go. are interesting. Let's go time. Yep. I oh, like that's that cool. Sure. Okay. Oh, wow. Can you imagine that, doing that, though? Again, the craftsmanship is blowing me away. Rusty bin. That's a good abstract. I like that you found yeah, like beauty the in the mundane. These towers are weird, right? Yeah, I would actually like to see the processing bring out those lines. Some that's, yeah, it's the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin. Um, go ahead and add a white point to that. Good shapes. I, I like it. Yeah, I like what you're... Oh, oh this yeah. is a great one. Pick. Yeah, a great job helix. with the shadows there. Might crop it differently. Right. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, I like how she's right in between those two shapes. You framed her. It's interesting. Yeah, that was a great eye. A fountain. That is too. A pick. Oh, <laughs> I tricked you. <laughs> Oh, you guys are really looking at the world in a new way, and I like that. Siobhan, do you have any... Ooh, wow. pick. Oh, that Siobhan, awesome. do you have any questions for us? For me? contrast, no distractors. Sure, I do. What is your favorite lens currently, and why? Mm. What have you been using? <sighs> Off the top of my head, uh, I really like the Sony 7200 F2.8 G Master. Yeah. It's sharp with the A9, it just snaps into focus. But I've been shooting a lot of sports lately. Oh, but how do I not make it our old 500 millimeter F4? Because that thing definitely has more <laughs> miles on it than anything else. I was we've just ever actually used. just thinking of that for wildlife. That's always been my favorite, the 500 F4. But you know what? I've been using the 400 Prime lately. What is that, 5.6? Yeah, it's still and, like, um, so old, but a great lens. It's a great lens. And, and you know, maybe it's not as good as the 500, but I've come to really appreciate how light and easy to travel with it is because the 500 is like this and it's very heavy and you can only hold it up for so long. People say use a monotop, monopod, whatever. I don't want to do that. The 400 is pretty light and you get good results. I like that a lot. But the Sigma 18 to 35, I've been using that a lot lately too. Put it on our GH5. How about, well, it depends on what we're doing, right? Because when I travel, I always bring like a versatile zoom, mm -hmm. a 24 to 105. Then I can cover a portrait range, like I'll go 85 millimeter, or I can go a little wider and maybe get some street shots or 50 millimeter. That's versatile, and I like that. I know. We didn't do a great job of answering this question. It's just, it's too hard to pick one. How could you do this? It'd be we, like picking which of your babies you love the most. I like Madeline. That best. would be easy. Yeah, Madeline is definitely Madeline. Madeline, she's really the best. The other one, I don't. we never even talked about it before. I don't know where that one is. Yeah, we hate him or her. We're not even sure. I'm not even sure at this point. Who cares? Siobhan, what else do you have for us? We got a money comment. Yay. Money. Ten dollars from Connor McMullen, and all he said was, "Thanks, guys, for everything." Oh, oh, you're welcome, and thank you. Yeah, thanks for your support. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, when I tried to add white points to images with people in them, their skin tone starts changing into a weird color. What should I do? Well, at that point, then you need to you need to go into the different color channels. I don't know if you're using Lightroom or Photoshop, but I prefer to do it in Photoshop. And then uh, the skin would be like oranges and yellows and reds. And you would keep those at the appropriate one. And then you would raise whatever colors you wanted. Or you would you'd use masking and you would mask out the people so that they're not being affected. And you would add a white point to whatever needed a white point. You just need to take a little more time and be a bit more selective. Yeah, you don't want the skin tones to be 100% white. If there's a catch light in their eyes, that might be 100% white, but the skin tone should be something below that. Skin. Same thing you said. Yeah, Great but I, was, I said it better. <gasps> look, this is want? the kind of thing I love. Like, look at these contrasts in the colors. I find myself doing this a lot when we travel. I'll just look at the peaks of the buildings. It can be a really super crowded street. There can be bright signs everywhere, but if you look up and you find like these, the lines and the roof lines 
It's unique to different places. It shows the architecture of the place. I know not everybody cares for it, but I love the shop, I, Peter. I think of Amsterdam when you say that because the buildings are all so cute up there. What else, Shiba? Oh, well, sure. I want to generally suggest the page sdp.io slash which camera. Oh, yeah. For <laughs> everyone who's asking about cameras and lenses. Yeah. That lists by genre and price point. Tony and Chelsea suggested cameras and lens combinations. We get that question a lot. So Tony took the time to make a whole big page for you full of all of the questions and answers you might have because we got tired of doing it. What else, Siobhan? What character would you be from Game of Thrones? <gasps> I know Chelsea's answer already. I think I'd be Arya. Yeah. Because I kill people. Mm. Who would you be? Um, There's really no good man character. You could be Arya too if you want. Yeah, I was oh. thinking about this. I like, uh, what's his name? Um, the Hound, you would starve that family. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> I'd, more likely, I'd probably be the dad who invited the Hound in and then got robbed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you would be, everybody picks a main character. You're like, you know the guy, season two, they throw poop on him. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, who would you be? Um, Actually, the guy who, oh, my camera just keeps turning off. It was, anyway, the guy who trained Arya was pretty cool, right? Oh, I like yeah. that guy. Yeah, his whole. The little swordsman. Yeah, well, he was whole cool. shape shifting. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, you mean that guy? That but... dude with all the walls, with the faces, and you would be that creepy, oh, creepy guy. guy season one, was like... <laughs> I mean, he was like fair, but a just trainer. Do you know what I mean? The many faced guy. Fair but firm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Siobhan, who would you be? Well, I would want to choose Arya, but I also really love the redheaded wildling who. Oh yeah. Got mm. down with Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh, she was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, what did you hate about no, her? No, he just, hated her. It's just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked about it before, and Justin's takeaway from the episode was like, "I hate that girl." <laughs> this is funny. Um, would you look at Steve Pole's picture here? Oh man, wow. can we just have a Game of Thrones podcast though? <laughs> this is great. I, I'm Stephen. It's such a great picture, but there's this little bit of grass here on the edge. Get it. I know you've cropped it already, unless you use some sort of square format camera, but I just... Yeah, I'm going to give this a pick and five. Yeah. It's so cool. She's happy. <laughs> Her life is good. That's true. She's got a spiral staircase. I put her in black and white because I'm feeling like that today. Nobody knows what this is. Pick. <laughs> oh, Whoa. this is an awesome shot. I don't know that Whoa, it Stuart. qualifies for the category, but I like it a lot. Yeah, it does. Shapes. Oh my god, the earth is flat. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's neat. Europeans are so rich. They have stuff made out of like stone and and metals. Everything we have is like plastic and 20 years old. I like this shot too. Oh yeah, look what they did. Oh, that's cool. But I remember when I went to Texas with you, Tony, and you were like, "This building's historic," and it was like two years old. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff in Texas is new. Like that's established like, 1962. Like, established 1991. This is a really historic spot. That's what happened when my relatives from England came here, and we were like, "This home's historic." They were like, "It's a hundred years old." I have silverware older than that. I remember in Pflugerville, there was this old tree which had a little fence around it. And the tree couldn't have been more than like 15 feet tall. But it was like a really old, wide tree and it had a little historic plaque because it was like a hundred years old. This tree, a tree was like a hundred years old. And we like built a wall and put a plaque on it. <laughs> yeah, but that's amazing. And they amazing. put up a grocery store right next to it. and But they like didn't hurt the tree but then some a-hole came along and like killed the tree somehow what? yeah just like a jerk 
Oh, it was like the oldest thing around. Turks the worst. I know. Yeah, because that's actually impressive because I saw it gets so dry in Texas that the earth gives up. There. Yeah, anything that hasn't died there in a hundred years is pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, wow. there are grandmothers who just have those little signs right on them. <laughs> I want to have that. <laughs> You're killing me with that idea. <laughs> Oh, look at that pick. <laughs> nice shot, Thomas. Can we get those signs? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just end on that? Yeah, we need to end the show with that, Tony. That's the best idea you've had. Okay, great. Whoa. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks to everybody who submitted a picture. Thank you, Zach White. Oh, wait, before we go, Siobhan, is there anything else that we need to know? I mean, Are you need, okay? <laughs> need, I don't, I don't know. Here's a good one. When you go out to take landscape photos to a new place you've never been before, how do you prepare yourself? Google. Yeah. Like the Google. And then um, we have sun tracker apps so we can see where the sun will be and where we should be. And then Google. That's yeah, it. Google Earth specifically. Yeah. That's it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Siobhan and Justin, for making this show great. And thank you, Squarespace, for making this show possible at all. If you want to try your own portfolio, you can go to squarespace.com. And you can Slash Tony. Yeah, and you can get a free trial. And then if you'd like to buy it, which I think you will, it's really fun, it's really great, you can use the coupon code PORTFOLIO to get 10% off. And if you already have a Squarespace portfolio, go to sdp.io slash link and submit it to us and we'll review it. We'll say, good job, Squarespace is great. <laughs> <laughs> so start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony and enter the offer code portfolio to get 10% off. Thanks, Squarespace. All right, and we'll see you next week. Thanks to, to everybody who sent your picture in. Sorry we don't get to look at everybody's picture. We don't. We looked at as many as we could. Uh, and uh, next week, the theme is Kenny Rogers or... No, it's not. It's Jolene. Um, it's contrast, colors, light, mood. Bring it. Bring your A game next week and tell your friends. Bye. Bye. Let's get pizza. Are people pretty pumped about my Jolene rendition? <laughs>